and I am Francesca and this is my Christmas kitchen. I hope you like it. It's going to be wonderful with carrots. Santa is coming to town and therefore today we are going to bake some black forest mince pies because Santa doesn't want the same pies everywhere. So there you go, black forest mince pies from the Tesco magazine. They are very, very simple. Usually I'll be making my own uh, mince meat. Today I'm going to use mince meat from a jar, but I'll be making my own pastry. Let's get started. Otherwise, Christmas will be over and we have no new spice. We have here 100 grams of cranberries, dried cranberries. It should be cherries, but I misread the recipe, which I often do. And uh, we have a jar of minced meat, which usually I make my own. It is very easy to make, but I bought this one very cheap last year and actually you can keep minced meat for a long time so that is not a problem. I'm going to mix all this and let it steep while I make the, the pastry. There you go, minced meat, Robertson's, it looks really British and luxury. I still think homemade mince meat is a lot better, but never mind. We want to do that today. Otherwise, I'll have mince meat in jars to last me a lifetime. And that's not a good thing. Oh, I love this guitar music. Lovely. So, oh, I should have opened this. Not the handiest person, mind you. Oh, so this is cherry brandy, and I'm going to use two soup spoons of uh, cherry brandy because I like everything very boozy. If you don't want to use cherry brandy for the children, please use uh, I don't know orange juice, apple juice. But if you use the two tablespoons of cherry brandy for 12 pies and then they are baked in the oven so the cherry brand will be gone by the time the children eat it, trust me. But, you know, each to their own. Feel free to use uh, juice. Ooh. It tastes just like Christmas. Oh. So we'll leave this here to marinate because the pastry will go into the fridge for one hour and that way the cranberries can absorb the cherry brandy. There you go. Again, I should have used dried cherries, but I forgot to buy them, so I thought it was cranberries. I'm always very fast doing everything and everything, which means half of it goes wrong. Now, we have the other ingredients, 200 grams of flour, 50 grams of cocoa powder, 125 grams of butter. I have used a little bit of lard because it makes for flakier, lighter pastry. And it is nice and cheap as well. Four tablespoons of milk and the sugar, 30 grams of light brown sugar. 
I'm using uh, 25 just a little bit less because I find most pastry is so sweet and I don't have a sweet tooth then I'm going to use this lovely gadget to help me make my pastry there you go there goes the butter and I'm going to make the butter resemble breadcrumbs maybe you have noticed that now the spots in our kitchen are working which is great we even have a new curtain that Colin installed today because we are renting this house and the curtain was really really old and battered and dirty and I love having a beautiful kitchen. The kitchen is kind of my office because I am forever cooking. So now I'm going to add the cocoa powder. It becomes a little bit, uh, little bit cloudy. I hope you love Christmas as well. Never listen to all those who say that Christmas is uh, a sad season, even if you have nobody. As there were times in my life when I spent Christmas on my own, you can still make it a festive occasion. You can find other people who are alone, you can get together with them. This year, in order to help others who are alone over Christmas, I'm going to sing in a community center on the 24th of December on Christmas Eve because it is very important for me to keep company to those who are alone now and to let them see that you don't need to be alone forever like I am not alone anymore now I have my own center Sir Colin Now I'll make my hands dirty. You'll see that usually I wear an apron, but oh, it's Christmas, so I could buy a Christmas apron, of course, but I have this lovely, lovely Christmas jumper, which I bought in a charity shop uh, two years, no, last year, because the choir I used to sing in things at concerts with some of the concerts with Christmas jumpers so this needs a bit more milk don't be afraid to use as much as you need to make but all that comes together just don't don't make it too uh, too wet because you can't roll it out. It does take quite a bit more milk than, than they say. No idea why, but uh, old recipes or a lot of recipes come with a lot of mistakes, so don't worry. We are getting there now. And again, don't listen to the people who say that Christmas is a miserable season. They are miserable themselves. Santa, the verse of Jesus Christ, the festivity of families. I know a lot of families don't get along, which is sad. But try to make as festive a Christmas as you probably can. And by the way, Colin doesn't believe in Santa. I do, because Santa is very real. There was a time in my life when I actually wanted to become Mrs. Claus. Unfortunately, Santa never 
came with a proposal and so we missed out on his slot, I'm sorry. So this is ready. We are going to wrap it in cling film and let it rest in the fridge for one hour. I hope you also like my hairstyle. The good thing about aging is that you can you can be rather crazy and nobody cares anymore. It is Christmas after all. There you go. This goes into the fridge for one hour. And I'll come later on and I'll roll out the dough. See you later. So there we go again to finish our mince pies. The dough has been in the fridge for almost one hour to cool off and I suppose it, uh, it does some mysterious things there, it develops the gluten. Uh, listen to this carol. <laughs> I am here to give you, to pass the instructions on to you and not to sing, but I love carols. So I'm going to roll out the pastry and I'm going to cut it with this beautiful pastry cutters. All Christmassy and wintry. I can't help it. So we are going to roll out our pastry and then cut rounds to cover our mold. Sorry, forgot to get the pastry cut it out. just have to try which size fits better that first I cut one and I have a look I have buttered all the molds yes this is just about right and you press them in so I'll make all the other the pastry for all the other molds there you go, maybe a little bit thinner, so you don't want to have a lot of pastry. A very thick pastry is never very nice.
some of these uh, pies are actually going to be a Christmas present for my voice coach Miroslava because she has been so patient with me and believe me I do need a lot of patience because I don't always get all the instructions first time so I thought what a better present than mince pies and for all those who are not British and don't know what mince pies are they are a, a speciality eaten in the UK and probably also in the United States with Christmas and they are little pies filled with a mixture of uh, raisins, apple, that's called mince meat. Probably because it looks just like minced meat, but it is not minced meat, believe me. I have read that a long time ago, they were actually made with minced meat. Now we like sweet stuff. So I'll divide the mincemeat by the molds. I hope that I'll have enough for 12. You don't need to fill them too much because uh, the, the filling will expand in the oven and then the sides will become all dirty. If I press it down, I get them printed. Christmas tree decoration. I never say the name properly, so Colin says it's not baubles, it's baubles, or it's not baubles, it's baubles. I don't know how these things are called. make a lot more pies but uh, I fear that I'll be a little bit short of dough never mind don't I look pretty I need or we both would need would be a bit of mulled wine to drink right now and this molds pretty and handy because you press 
down the dough and it just comes out. Ooh, it comes out when, when it doesn't stick. There you go. Let's try to make a few more. If I can make a couple more pies, after all, I have enough dough. It's not a problem. And I hope that even if you are not religious, you still celebrate Christmas as a festivity for families, for getting together, for brighten, brightening up uh, the winter. You don't always need to believe in the birth of Christ or even in Saint, although I think believing in Saint is quite essential, but uh, never mind if you don't believe in Saint, maybe one day the mystery of the miracle of Santa Claus will get to you. You never know, you know, it's like, it is like in the films, all of a sudden something happens and you realize that Santa is out there. Maybe Santa is out there a bit in, in all of us, you know, us making these presents we also sent us. Yes, I think that I still have enough filling for another time. Girls, a beautiful snowman. Funny enough, I don't have Santa. And Christmas is not always about going to the shops and spending a lot of money. Unfortunately, that's starting to be the norm, but Christmas is also going to your kitchen and baking something lovely for your bake, for your bake, no, for your loved ones. 
your big ones. No, don't bake your loved ones. But do bake some something nice. There is a lot of beauty in a self-made present. And of course you can also buy a few things in shops, but you don't need to ruin yourself. That is not what your loved ones are after. Or maybe it is, I don't know, I don't know anymore, but uh, I hope not. So if you sit down and take the time to make some nice presents. And there are a lot of uh, cookery books about presents from your kitchen. And there is a lot of joy in that. So I was afraid of not having enough though I had enough though I could even have used a little bit more a bit more minced meat but n never mind it's perfect I'm just going to wash my hands and I'm going to put them in the oven for maybe 18 minutes you just have to have a look when you think that they are done so Carol said means meat. Oh, it is lovely. And we now actually have light in the oven with Christmas. There comes light in the middle of the winter. Isn't that lovely? And they will be here for maybe 15 to 18 minutes. See you later. Hello, here I am again more carols and the meat pies are ready almost I am now decorating them I am not terribly good at decorating so I'm just trying out these bear with me I have these magic sparkles which I bought a while ago and they are absolutely beautiful little payettes at least that's how you call them in French and I have used them to put sparkle around the pies because as they are made of mincemeat and chocolate they are quite dark with the leftover dough I made some chocolate cookies I was going to throw it away and then I thought that I wouldn't do it I have here several colors of sparkles but unfortunately the red and uh, the salmon color and the green they don't seem to attach so i am uh, i'm going to decorate my my plate with uh, the pies and the cookies probably need some more golden ones The problem in this kitchen is the shadows. So there you go, some golden ones. As you have seen, this is all very simple. But if you give such a, a, a present to a loved one, they they'll be thrilled. Costs you next to nothing, and it's about the love you put in them. It's not about money because Christmas shouldn't be about money. It is about love, about being together, about Santa, of course. But Santa loves the homemade goodies. After all, all the presents he brings are made in his factory. So, and of course, with a little help from the shops. I love this season. It's really, really pretty. And that's what life should be all about. It's about beauty, about love, about being together. So, try to make this as pretty as I possibly can. I have tried a bit liquid the of liquid the dye but uh, I find it doesn't really work. It works very well on chocolates. It doesn't seem to work that well on cookies. 
Well, these shadows are a little bit uh, annoying. And of course you have got Santa. We have to have Santa. If you'd like the recipe, please write in the comments. If you want any explanations, write in the comments as well. If you like my channel, subscribe, please. It's nice to be able to interact with you. I think it looks pretty this way. If I don't speak to you again before Christmas, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope I do, but uh, I'll be making a few other cookery videos uh, with Christmas as a theme and also sing some carols for you, so I hope to see you, but if not, Merry Christmas, thanks for stopping by and see you soon. And there you go, the cranberry mince pies.